receiving the evidence. Uh, thank you. I will have a talk to start first. First of all, your God and live and help to cover up the murder, and those will fade as soon as they feel they are off the hook. Many friends from all over the country came to Grant's memorial service, and his family received messages from people that knew and respected Grant. Merge his hearing family in any way. Thank you. There are plenty of family members, friends, people. He, you know, continue forward. I mean, he still has that there. I've been taking care of it ever since for him. I've been, you know, oh, yes, yes. Oh, I'm, I would be thrilled to have him home. He can work on his land again. It's his. And he can keep his dream going.
Okay, well, I was very happy with the judge's ruling on the sentence, and I think it's appropriate, the upper term and in state prison. Practically speaking, he probably will not go to state prison because of the pandemic, but I think that's an appropriate sentence. I hope that Mr. Fisher at some point shows in some way some remorse for what he did to Grant because Grant did not deserve it. I hope that he finds some way to understand the horrible thing that he did and the disservice that he has done to Grant because Grant had dreams too and he will never be able to fulfill those. And at this point, I don't see that the defendant has any remorse for what he did. It's a horrible situation, but it's at the end now and just, you know, it's a case I'll never forget. Overall, like I said, it was a little disappointing, but overall, Mr. Fisher is still very relieved about the results of this case. I do want to sort of parallel what the judge said about the service of the jury. They did an outstanding job. They worked under very difficult conditions. They heard a lot of evidence. I completely understand where Mr. Whitaker's family is going or his family is coming from. I mean, that's, it's terrible no matter how you look at it, what happened. It's not, you know, from the get, we have never been about, you know, this is about who deserves to live and who deserves to die or anything like that. It's horrible. But I do think it was a bit unfair what they said. This jury really put its heart and soul into trying to do what was just, and I feel they accomplished that. In every case, an individual gets a sentence, in this case, four years. Whether they're in prison or in jail, they get credits for good behavior and what they call good time, work time. So that happens in every case. There can be sometimes limitations on the credits, but in most cases, you do get credits off of that sentence. So in this case, it's a halftime credit case, and so that's what the credits he was given so far. My calculation with a four-year sentence is that he'll serve an additional approximately 270 days in jail or prison, and that is actual time he'll have to serve, and then he'll be released on parole or post-community supervision, where he will still be under some kind of supervision, and hopefully he will not violate that once he gets out of jail or prison. It's suffice it to say, he's got, at the most, probably 246 or 247 days left to do. Could be less than that before he's released. I do think some of the things, you know, there were some accusations made in the victim impact statements that are really, you know, those are rumors that they have heard, and, you know, their loved one is dead, and that 
that is probably, you know, there's almost nothing I'm sure that can make up for that for them. And again, I, I, kid, I couldn't imagine that either. Nonetheless, there are things that were said about Mr. Fisher. Um, and unfortunately, the law as it relates to sentencing really doesn't give us much opportunity to say much about them. There are things that were said about Mr. Fisher there that are really more, it strikes me based on things that are innuendos and rumors that have been floating around that are really, you know, about him personally. And so I, I kind of want to point that out. Um, and all of that needs to be taken with a grain of salt. All right. I think that's all we have. We appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you. you.